most people think of who the main face slash mascot of Goosebumps books are. Most people will just assume or say that it's Slappy the Dummy, which is true, but what if I told you that back then they had their own mascot for the books and for the advertising of the books? It's worth noting that when the first few Goosebumps books came out, for some odd reason, they were not selling and most importantly, the series was almost cancelled after the Let's Get Invincible book. But then out of nowhere, it started blowing up for some unknown reason. It became successful and a few years later, Scholastic was finding it difficult to advertise and have promotional material for the books due to there not being any recurring main character. So in 1984, Tim Jacobus, who was the artist for the uh, series, was asked by Scholastic to make a mascot for the series, which led to the creation of Curly the Skeleton, who would appear in the first book of Tales of Give You Goosebumps, but there was one problem. His design has him... Um, as of as like a ghost-like specter, which they didn't really find this design good, so they gave him a haircut which made him look better, but also a bulldog named the Drool that will travel with Curly. Most importantly, they finally had a mascot to market and advertise for their books, starting 1995. When it goes to most of the Goosebumps merchandise, Carly the Skeleton was mainly the one you would see in most of the merchandise. They also gave him a new design for the merchandise, in this case they gave him a reddish scarf and glasses, and also a pink mohawk and a ponytail. And they made a lot, and I mean a lot, of merchandise for this character. Calendars, t-shirts, lunch bags, bookmarks, flashlights, Taco Bell toys, collectible figures, even a costume and an appearance at Disneyland. Yeah, boom! Dudes, pretty curly's the name, horrors the game. Just call me your master of ceremonies. <laughs> it was safe to say that he was the face of Goosebumps until the series got a new face, but not like the haunted mask. Alright, it's worth noting that Curly wasn't being used anymore around the 2000s. He would make appearances here and there, like a How to Draw book in 2009 and the 2015 Goosebumps movie. He appeared in the cover of the vinyl record of the movie's soundtrack. And he also appeared in the 2017 and 2018 comic. And now, it's more of like Slappy the Dummy is basically the new face of the series, since he's one of the more iconic characters from the series, and also, they even made a spin-off book series about him. And also, he's appearing in Goosebumps 2023 TV show. But that's basically the story of Curly the Skeleton in a nutshell. One of the many mascots of the 90s that have been forgotten, but has been remembered. I was just saying before this video ends, there's like a somewhat of announcement or something I just need to say. 96% <sighs> of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed. Consider subscribing if you want to see more interesting content like this. I usually upload videos every two weeks, consists of either meme edits or analyst videos about things I like, like Earthworm Jim or anything I find interesting. It also helps this channel and it beats sitting down and watching ants eat stuff from the ground. <laughs>